There are two words all day long that I will ask you, and the answer will be the same all day long. Two words. What are those two words? Somebody oh, oh, said what? Somebody was out. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody didn't say water quality. So we're gonna try that again, choir. The resource conservation workshop is our way of working with high school students to get them involved in natural resource conservation. The kids take a summer intensive where they learn about all of the specific parts, forestry, agriculture, aquaculture, all kinds of natural resource conservation that is really important to the mission of soil and water conservation districts. When we get the fish, we take lengths off of them, we take weights off of them. Like I said, we may pull an otolith out of them, maybe 10% of them. This is kind of an alternative to those weights. For us to be able to do the summer intensive and partner with NC State, they not only get the student perspective and a collegiate level, but also get the professional experience by trailing the actual professionals who are doing those careers. This one or this one? There was a ten to negative third dilution, so like a thousand percent dilution. It's passed. And the really wonderful thing about the Resource Conservation Workshop is that it's also a scholarship opportunity. It really puts them in connection with professors and students to understand why or what majors they would want to be a part of. So what we're going to do is to try to cut down on that turbidity, we're going to add some polyacrylamide to each one of these waddles and we're going to take a sample up here of our muddy water coming out. We're going to take one at the end and, and hopefully we'll see that it worked and it got clean. You can actually see the globs of soil that have flocked together. It's not only a understanding of the different focuses that are in natural resource conservation, but really about being able to figure out where you want to go to college, what you want to study in college, what it takes to get to the career you want, and then the opportunity to get scholarship money, which every student should want to do. Well, one of the jobs that really touched me a lot was the forest interpretation. Just being able to help people understand why it's important, why we need our plants and everything. That just really hit home with me. Well, I'm thinking about becoming an environmental engineer. Um, I want to focus on engineering BMPs and I want to not only limit myself to the United States, but also developing countries who might not know about BMPs. I don't have to work at an office all day. I don't have to be at a calculator and blueprints. I can be outside. I can touch things, be involved. And so when it's red like that, um, that means that it's, it's well oxidized and there's oxygen available. I love the spark or the aha moment that I see in kids' eyes when they really find something that gets them excited. So I love to say when they find their jam. And so when you are with a young person and they meet you know, either another professional or they maybe find a snake underneath a rock or whatever it is where that light goes off and they have that aha moment of like, you know what, this is something that um, I really love, that I'm curious about, that I want to know more about, want to find a research project to do, that's what keeps me going, is seeing their own enthusiasm really fuels my own passion for working with them. Natural resource conservation is more than just recycling and cutting off the water in the shower. It's really everything, and it impacts all of our lives. With like the environment yesterday. taking such a huge role in our health and our happiness. We see that with climate change it's really important for students to get involved and want to focus in environmental and natural resource careers. The Resource Conservation Workshop is a way for them to explore those careers and hopefully choose to go into those fields so that they can have a better impact on the world.